Hey everybody at Tennis Troll, my name is Micah Babel. I'm a former top 30 WTA pro, 19 times Grand Slam competitor, and I am your guest commentator today for a fantastic match between MEP and Maelstrom. So once you're done watching that match, head on over to my channel, it's Micah Babel Tennis, and for now, let's get going with a really great match. Up to 5-0, Maelstrom is playing the perfect way on how to beat a player like MEP. He is not letting him breathe. He's coming in with his own first serves, plays serve volleys, has great volleys, puts overheads away. And basically by coming in with anything that's yellow and is flying, he's forcing MEP to pass him on the dot. Yes, does he lose a couple of balls? Yeah, that's fine. But he's making a lot of balls on his terms. And that's the key. You cannot allow MEP to get into long rallies where he can slice and dice. So let's see if Maelstrom can keep that up.
If you compare the points that Maelstrom is playing to close out the set, you notice that all of a sudden there are longer points. He's not rolling over his forehand as much and his backhand as much as he did. Now he's slicing and dicing with MEP. And that's exactly what you don't want to do because that is MEP's game. He's also making a few more errors. So maybe it's a little bit of you know, pressure to close out the set but you do see a distinct difference in how he's structuring the points. So that is definitely one of the reasons why MEP can creep back into the match because he's just never gonna go away. So if you're not constantly keeping the pressure up, he's gonna find a way to come back into the match.
Here's the danger when you're playing somebody like MEP, who is not beating himself. You will dictate the match, whether you win or lose. So by taking a little bit of pace off and by just staying back a little bit more, not quite risking as much and maybe throwing in a couple of unforced errors, yeah, because MEP is not giving you anything, it allows MEP to play his game, which is moving you around, running you all over the place and throwing in his drop shots. So the way to claw your way back into the match is coming back to how you play up to 5-0. Making lots of first serves, coming in no matter what, even if you're getting past a little bit, but you need to dictate play.
Over the duration of the second set, you've seen that the point structure has changed. Points have gotten a lot longer. MEP has been able to involve Maelstrom into forehand slice rallies from the baseline. And that's a really good sign for MEP because to me it says my opponent is getting a little tired and doesn't want to work as hard anymore. So make sure that you keep those rallies long. You really want to torture him. Maybe throw some drop shots back in just to make that person move. On the other hand, Maelstrom needs to work on coming in again, even if you're getting passed once or twice. But you want to let MEP know that, no, I am not going to do this. I am not playing on your terms. I'm attacking your second serves. I'm going to get my first serve percentage up and I am coming in and I am going to force you to pass with really, really, really small margins because that is how I took the first set away from you and that's how I'm going to win this tiebreaker.
So what are your thoughts on the match? Hey. <laughs> Let him have a good take. Oh, are you asking me? I'm asking you. Oh, I'm so exhausted. That's my thought on the match. I need a nap. A nice, long, relaxing nap. He's the most exhausting player. I'm the most exhausted player. Uh, well, I guess I managed to escape, didn't I? <laughs> Is it you? It's can me. I get an autograph? <laughs> Dude, can I get an autograph? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. Sorry. Look, don't let me find that on eBay. Don't let me find this on eBay. So you can find this on eBay. All you need to do is search for MEP Tennis Ball, or you can click the link above. All proceeds will benefit the Georgia Tennis Foundation.